Dawson and Denise for life. Yeah. But Dancing Dolls for life. We got our shirts. Shout yes. out to Dancing Dolls. Thank yes. y'all. We got thank you, stuff. thank you, thank you. And I and I know mine look a little South Beachy, you know. I'm Always. trying to get cut, you know, for the Always beach for Memorial Miami. Day. So Always I had to add my little, Miami style. my little Miami style and that'll show these guns out. I'm trying to do it out. If you would like to order one of these shirts and be a fanatic, I mean, because I know y'all love Bring It, yeah. you can go to Dollhouse Dance Factory at yahoo.com and, you know. Yeah, show love, be show support the for the show. Ooh, man. Yeah. And definitely, you know, <laughs> they are coming back for a second season on Lifetime. So, you know, congratulations to Coach D and her team and the Dancing Dolls, you know. Uh, and it's they, about dream. I was thinking about this when I was... You know, taking my shower. But it's about dreaming and never quitting. Exactly. And it's like things come true. If you don't quit, you will win. Exactly. And that's basically, hey, that's the intro. That's basically what this was about with the lock in and exactly. all of that. And if you got you got a dream, go for it. And that's what Coach D did. And, you know, she proved everybody wrong. They proved us wrong. Jeez, and the fans did too. Y'all don't understand what kind of show this is. And we didn't at first. We didn't, but hey, we on it now. We on it now. Let's go into this episode of Bring It. A very, I told you as the episodes progress, the girls get go through challenging uh, competitions and things like that. And it's actually stretching them to be, you know, you know, almost like young adult girls, but you know, they're growing up. Mm -hmm. And I could definitely see the maturity starting and Sanjay and in Kayla definitely how she you know took that that ownership role tonight as a team captain so it was really good really good so uh, as we saw tonight on bring it the girls were going against the dynamic duo the dynamic dancing dolls what what, what was the group name you said it was dynamic it? diamond dolls the dynamic diamond dolls and uh, really good group, really good group. They were headed back to Memphis again, as Coach D yeah, said. Yeah, Memphis. No, I mean, they, hey, we thought we were bad in Miami. We thought we were the first one yeah, in Memphis. Yeah, Memphis. No, no, they turned up in Memphis. I think they do a first 48. No, they do first 48 in Chicago and Dallas and... Memphis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they turned up in but Memphis, But the thing man. I hate is every time... You know, the opposing team is about to lose. You fight. We've exactly. seen this like two shows now. Like, why? But let's get into it. The girls did, you know, uh, the burlesque dance, which I, I must say for, like I told y'all before, as a guy who loves like fine arts and all that kind of stuff, the burlesque dance, that was hands down, that was like top 10, like all the way 10 and stars. She said, that was very I was concerned too, just like in the first episode when we first started. Yeah. I was concerned about, you know, the girls being girls. Yeah. And tonight she said, we'll keep it sassy instead of sexy. So they had to exactly, come down. Because, because you list, want yeah. your kids to be kids, mm -hmm. but you also want to, like you said, instill things in them that they can take into adulthood. Exactly. But you want your kids to be kids for as long as they can. Exactly, exactly. And the movement for the girls in the burlesque dance, that was like really, I'm telling y'all, that was like some Alvin Ailey type stuff. And y'all, people know that I've seen Alvin Ailey. It's like that, uh, what's that, they're popular for the Revelations thing or something like that, that dance. But that was that, Why that you was want really. To tell it. I mean, if you know it, I know. But I'm serious. I'm that was that was just um that was just like <laughs> I was very shocked at their age that they could do the like the movement and to have so many of them in that configuration in but that gym doing it. that. And that's a, when you want to, well, you will practice. But speaking, and, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, if you want it, you will practice, and you won't mind the sleepless nights exactly. and the long that's days and the say. hard work yeah. and the effort you have to put into it. Exactly, and. Coach D did make them sleep over in uh, the Dancing Dolls uh, factory. factory, which I thought was that was just perfect because that is showing you anything you want hard enough. You got to be willing to stay up for you got to be. I mean, you got to be willing to fall asleep, you know, at the computer, you know, I was talking about this show, too. I was like. We do what we have to do. Exactly. You know, we have sleepless nights now so we can rest better. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. We're trying to get to the part where we're able to just yeah, rest. Yeah, exactly. And you got to go for it. And Coach D really, like, grill the girls on that. And tonight, I think this was actually one of the best performances that I've seen from, uh, 
you know, the dancing dolls throughout this in these entire episodes so far because we still got next week. But so far, this is like the best one that the burlesque that was hands down, that was top notch professional. And I'm not just I'm saying that for a person who like really is really into theater. I'm really in, I'm serious. If it. it ain't right, like so to a Broadway show by himself. I sure will and pay a hundred and they were talking yeah. about I'll pay $150, I, I, I $200. I'm not into I, stuff like I, I will. So to see good no, I would have bullied me then on you, the Broadway streets about up. going into... Yeah, you, you was bullying me. But I meant if it was a to... Tyler Perry show, you would come. <laughs> to each his own. Exactly, yeah. But it ain't no wrong with Tyler Perry shows. It's just like, I just love American right. standardized. And I said, yeah. I will chill on these Broadway streets and I'll go do something else. I wasn't hating on you and telling you not to go, but I wasn't going to spend 150 to go see Porgy and Bess. <sighs> Do we still have to keep repeating this over and over again? <laughs> that was the plan for us to go see Porgy and Best, but anyway. Not my plan. And is uh, obviously. Did Z Marie go with you? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, so good, together good. we spent about three hundred dollars. Good, go good. See, and, it was and you got to meet, you know, Audrey. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. It all worked out. It's part of the master's plan. <laughs> Shut up. <man. laughs> but anyway. So yeah, so the dance tonight was really good. I really love how the girls came out there and they just handled it. Uh, I love Selena Beyonce. You know I can't let you go because she said we can't have no more losers. <laughs> <laughs> but you were fine with that. <laughs> it, it was okay. You were fine oh. with her saying you can't have any more losers. <laughs> we can't have any more losers. <laughs> yeah, because they they were saying how they lost in Memphis, you know, and they they you know they lost a couple of times in the last past week. Losers. We can't have no more losers. But you know the street sidewalk again. Uh, we just living life. for that exactly, and having Tina there, and Sanjay's aunt, and Mimi there, just all of them talking, that just gives more of a, a more of a you know really? solid foundation to the show. So I really like that. So definitely, let's get back to the fight now. So the girls were doing really good, of course. Dancing dolls killing it in this competition. Then some dude. This is what I'm. What kind of dude gonna fight at a that kind of dude? <laughs> That kind. You don't do that. Oh, don't, my God. Don't. Really? No. Stop, girl. But, stop, again, stop. you have to say what you have to say. It's the leader. The leader oh my God. allows this type of stuff. I'm, I'm saying, man, it's like this is a dude fighting at a... Stop. This is a dude fighting at, I mean, a competition. A female competition. This ain't even like a football game for guys and stuff. So, that's, that's just like... Shut up. Keep going. Look at the camera. <laughs> that just kind of like threw me off. I'm like, these are girls like prancing around, like dancing, man. And a dude got upset and um, just ended it for everybody. And you know, let me put this down. Why does it seem like every time there's a black event, somebody does something like that? And it's just because not like. they cannot take the pressure. The pressures of what? Of them about to lose. A lot of people can't take that. But and that's right. I don't rather understand end that. everything. Instead of losing, I don't understand. They'll rather lose it all instead of losing. When I played sports in school, and like Denise said, I was also in fine arts and stuff like that. I thought you were gonna say play sports. I'm sorry, I didn't say play sports. No. When I played sports in school, and also when I did like fine arts and stuff like that, I was wrestling, football, track. I did a little football until I got here, and I was like, "Oh, this ain't for me." I'm going to beginning jazz, but <laughs> band count. <laughs> no, exactly. And band camp? No, and you gonna put me out like that? Band count? <laughs> no. But when I used to do all that kind of stuff, it was like we learned, like, hey, people gonna win, people gonna lose, but you have to show good sportsmanship. And it just it, when this guy or that was a coach or whatever just got mad, and then the parents started getting in because you know no parent ain't gonna let nobody, nobody. Mm-hmm. Say nothing to Russia. Look like they've been to attack their kids. So of course the dancing doll side came over there and everybody. And then just got we didn't know what was going on. But I appreciate how Coach D came in there. But first I appreciate how Kayla came in there at the end, telling the girls, "Hey, let's go to the back and get your stuff. Go to the back." She really did step into Coach D's, um, you know, role while she was out there with the parents trying to see what happened with the fight. So definitely, you know, have a great Kayla. leader will exactly. allow you to act in those situations. Exactly, and then Coach D came back and told the girls, hey, they won first place for the burlesque, which, of course, that was hands down. They got that, 
and that she really appreciate them because no matter what happened out there, they came to win, and that's exactly what they yeah, did. It wasn't their fault. Exactly. And sometimes in life, man, that's how it is. You got to block out all that negativity yeah. and come and do Things what you got to do. Things that people do to you will not be your fault. Exactly. But it is up to you to handle it exactly. the right way. Yeah. It is up to you to handle it. People will hate you just for being Jennifer. Just for being Jennifer. <laughs> just for being Selena Beyonce. You see how she came in the other night with that black on and that little thing looking like Beyonce? So that's why you didn't mind all the losers. I didn't mind that. We, we can't have no more losers. <laughs> But anyway, good episode tonight. I, yeah, I'm really amped about next week's show. And thanks out to uh, the Dancing Doll and Coach D and Dollhouse Factory, Doll House Factory for shit. this. And our boy Raw. Thanks, man. We appreciate that. Hey, everybody who's loving the show, we loving this. And definitely, I'm keeping my shirt. I'm probably gonna, it's going to be my gym shirt, too. You know, that's why I cut the sleeves up because I got to get gotta get right. Summer so coming summer, up. Summer yes. yes, and we can feel the heat. Definitely and we'll now. be having a show about people trying to break up with their significant others because it's summertime. Exactly. And they don't want to be bogged up exactly. until the winter. Yeah, well, we always got summer down here. You know, winter, so. Hopefully they just want to break up just to break up. <laughs> just to break up, just to break up. <laughs> until next time, I'm your guy Dawson. And I'm Denise. Until next time, take Meeting care of yourself. Ella, any way you want to look at it, Dawson and Denise for life. Dancing, Dancing dolls, dolls for life. life. Hey, thank you.